Is your lawyer foreign funded? No. Nope. Who's paying for him? And why is he in Toronto? Why did you head two hours outside of the city to harass turkey farmers? Kean Bexy for Rebel News in Fort McLeod at the courthouse where the turkey heisters of 2019 are set to arrive very shortly so that they can learn whether the Crown is going to be proceeding summarily or with an indictment. If it is an indictment, then these folks who broke into a pacifistic Hutterite farm could see as many as 10 years behind bars. If they proceed summarily, well, it will be no more than six months in jail. I'm going to head into the courthouse, listen to what's going on, and then come out and update everyone. Maxwell, would you be able to answer a few questions? No. Would you be able to tell me who's paying for your GTA lawyer? No. Did you target the Hutterite colony because you knew that they were pacifists and they wouldn't fight back against your illegal action? No. Did Global News know about what you were doing, that you were imminently about to break the law before you did it? No. Sorry. Don't touch me. Sorry, I You're bumped on into camera. Oh, that's way, Max. Why'd you bump into me? I, I bumped into you. Sorry, man. Is your lawyer foreign funded? No. Who's paying for him? And why is he in Toronto? Why did you head two hours outside of the city to harass turkey farmers? It was a long drive. Why'd you go so far? There's farms way closer to Calgary. All right, that was fun. So he shoved me a little bit. I'm used to it. I wish he wouldn't do that. Um, but these folks are going to get away with whatever they do. They're not behind bars. They should be behind bars after breaking into a pacifistic turkey farm and then stealing turkeys afterwards. For some reason, they weren't arrested for this. You see these turkey farmers, only one of them showed up today, unfortunately. Uh, they're not seeing any consequences either. And for some reason, the Crown is proceeding summarily. Now, I spoke with the prosecutor and he says it's so that they won't be able to elect a jury, which I suppose makes sense. But it really grinds my gears that these folks won't be seeing the 10 years max that they could be seeing for the absolutely vile actions that occurred on that Hutterite farm just a few months ago. This guy didn't want to answer many questions of mine. Maxwell Ming Ma, he kept saying no. It's really curious that his lawyer, who we're going to be following up on, is from the GTA. I'm not sure a lawyer from the greater Toronto area has ever even been to the quaint town of Fort McLeod, but for some reason they're shipping him all the way out here and twisting the courtroom in a pretzel so that they can fit him in uh, for pre-trial hearings. We're not quite sure when the next court hearing is going to be. I think it'll be sometime in March, but you can rest assured that Rebel News will be here on location to cover this story because you can look behind me, the mainstream media certainly is not covering this one. For Rebel News, I'm Kean Bexty. Damn, it is cold here in Fort McLeod, Alberta today, but on July 5th, it's not going to be so cold and we're going to be on our way to Alaska on a cruise. If you want to join us, Ezra Levant, myself, Sheila Gunn-Reed, David Menzies, and a host of other folks, go to rebelnewscruise.com.